Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the video you're fixing to see. Out here with my new friend, Chad Zuber, out in his camp. And uh, if you don't know who he is, I'm gonna be putting the link up in the top. I believe it's on this side, I always get it fixed up. Um, he does primitive uh, bushcrafting and projects and all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, primitive style living. Yeah, I've been following him now for about a year and a half, two years. He's got some really cool stuff, so. Anyway, we're gonna get right to it. I meant to do bushcraft out here, which I kind of did, but then it gets kind of got busy building stuff and learning things. So, Chad, thanks so much for having me out, man. And yeah, pleasure. learning and making sure the dog isn't tearing something yeah. up. <laughs> so, guys, enjoy. Appreciate it. <laughs> Look what's the dog doing. Thanks for joining me again for this week's episode. I'll be making my fireboard, which you can see in real time at the end of this video, making an ember. And I'm going to be making a clay pot for the very first time. I had never done this type of clay before. It'll be kind of exciting. Let's see what we can get into. Making a fireboard out of wild material, you're going to find a lot of carving, a lot of cutting, a lot of shaping. This spindle here is made out of cedar. This one didn't work really well uh, for me. Like, juniper, I mean, it does work, but it just it didn't work out well. I ended up using what was called mule fat. At the end of this video, you actually see this fireboard that I'm making here in real time i think we came up with an ember in under like a minute it was pretty cool uh, chop 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 here we go we keep on carving it out testing to make sure that it's going to spin and uh, i did get a little heat off this let's build the heat moving on to the fireboard and once again, you can see this very fireboard in action at the end of this video. You'll also, I'm going to put a link right here. You'll be able to see this fireboard making a fire out here in the desert. This is uh, pinion pine, and I took this branch off a tree, and there I am showing it to you. See how straight I can actually cut. I took this branch off pinion pine and carved it into a fireboard that I'm still using to this day. And uh, it's really nice. You'll be seeing that coming up in uh, videos out here in Texas as well. Kind of proud of myself here. I tell you, any type of work you do out here takes it out of you. You can hear me breathing. It is hot. And uh, with that knife, that little hatchet there, it took probably around two hours to go ahead and get that thing carved out. Once we got the capability to make fire, now I'm loading up this kiln. And I'm going to go ahead and fire my very first clay pot. I did not film the actual making of it. However, in upcoming videos, I have clay here. I have been making pottery, so you'll be able to see me do it. Holy cow. This wood burns so fast and so hot. That there is manzanita. You can even see how hot it burns. A little picture of the stream. Let's take it out. This was about two hours after I started the fire. Let's go ahead and take it out. I believe that the term or the firing of the clay turns it into a ceramic. You can hear it. Sounds kind of like glass, huh? I was pretty impressed. First time I'd ever done a pit firing of clay. Oh yeah, it's hot. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to go ahead and see this fireboard coming up here in a second in real time. I think I got an ember in something like 58 seconds. I don't really remember, but I still use this fireboard to this day. And you'll be seeing it in future videos. Make sure you're checking out for next week's drop of the video. We'll be doing something fun, I'm sure. And uh, check out these other videos that I did link and uh, see what I'm doing. Appreciate you guys. So, woke up this morning. Still in my pajamas. Figured I'd go ahead and test this fire kit in real time, guys. It hasn't been used since yesterday when I tested it. And I haven't been putting out a lot of videos because I've been super busy in the shop. So I figured we'd just go ahead and see what we can do this morning. This is mule fat. You can look it up. It's a uh, shrub. It's real good for a uh, fire spindle. This is 
my fire board. Uh, this is pinion pine. And then I took some Osage from the bow building and just carved it down to a bow. I need to get my bearing block. I've got a, best I can tell this is quartz. It's green and uh, has a hole in it for my spindle. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. See what, uh, what trouble we can get into. Like I said, this is a cold set right now. It hasn't been warmed up. And uh, we're going to see how quickly I can create a coal. We're not going to create a fire. We're just going to create a coal because uh, I don't have any tinder with me. And I'm inside my building, so probably wouldn't be a real smart choice to, to do something like that. Alright, let's see. Creating dust. Now we're going to go for it. Maybe, maybe that was enough. piece of leather under that we take the coal put it under our tinder let it catch and then blow it into flame so there you guys go i think that was uh about three minutes 30 seconds right now and that included me having to walk out back and get my bearing block there's fire guys 